You have sort of an interesting rock here, Darren, right? Yeah, it's got lots of different colors yeah, in it. Some red and some white. Well, it's watch what happens to those when I turn out the light and we look at it in a different kind of light. Oh, the colors change. They're yeah, glowing. Yes. There's some light green and some and light some dark red. red and so forth. Okay, let me turn the lights back on again. Because today you and I are going to investigate that phenomena, which is based on ultraviolet. Ultraviolet. You know what that word means? Well. There's one over here. Ultraviolet. What's ultra mean? Ultra means very. Yeah. And violet means purplish. Yeah, the color of the, of the flower. Okay. Now, ordinarily, you can't see ultraviolet. In other words, it's beyond violet. All you can see is white light, which I'm going to produce here with this projector. Okay. It goes to these, these two prisms. You hold your hand right there. See, there's white light made up of all the colors of the spectrum, right? Okay. Now move your hand back. Well, the colors are changing. They're getting, it's moving into all the different colors. Yes. So finally you get there. Now they're there on that card. What are the colors of the spectrum now? Well, there's red, yellow, orange. Orange is in between. Yeah. There's, goes from yellow to green to blue to purple. And violet. Violet. Violet, right. Now notice there's a piece of paper here. Mm -hmm. That I'm sitting right here. Yes. Notice that you can't see any light right here. No. The ultraviolet, I can't see the, the, the violet is stopped right there. Mm -hmm. But there's the ultraviolet. So put your finger right on top of that section right there, and I'll go turn out the lights, and you watch what happens right there. All right. Oh, there's a, a light green glow. Yes, it's glowing right there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, now I'll turn the lights back on again, and mm -hmm. now you've seen the ultraviolet that you can't see changed to a sort of glowing that you can see. All right. And that's what you and I are going to be playing with today. Okay. Changing ultraviolet into something we can see. Wait here, let me get my projector here first. Now because ultraviolet could be sort of dangerous if you look at it directly, I think it'd be a good idea if you put on these safety oh, okay. glasses. All right. Now, would you give me your finger please? Okay. Here's some sort of uh, cream. Cream. Putting cream I'm, on. Yes, I'm going to put some cream on your finger like that. Hmm. And then here's some liquid, and I'm going to put some liquid on your other finger, like that. All right. Just remember what I did there now. Mm -hmm. Then you see what else I have here? Here's some soap. Mm -hmm. it looks like laundry soap. Yes, it is. And some files. Mm -hmm. Two different kinds, though, but. Yeah, they're different, right. smaller. Here. Price tags and some and snaps. A stamp. A candy dish, sort of. Mm -hmm. Some paper. Mm -hmm. It's wrapping paper and a uh, green liquid. Mm -hmm. And here. Looks just like a piece of paper with some sort of spots on it. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what it is. And then here. Looks like a couple of rocks. A couple of rocks. There's the one we saw in the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the lights out and I'll bring the ultraviolet over here. And these materials I've chosen because they convert the ultraviolet that you can't see into a light that you can see. Oh, I see. So yeah. right now you can't see them. You can't, well, you can see them, but you see only the what you see in normal light. Okay. But they're going to now look entirely different when we put them under ultraviolet. So are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, first of all, I get my ultraviolet light and turn out the lights. Put your hand up there now. Oh, it's glowing. Yes. That this one's was sort of makeup. light blue. So that this is how they do uh, clowns and, you know, mm -hmm. skeletons in the dark. Yeah. Okay, that was the makeup. And here is this liquid that I put on. Oh, it's r glowing really yeah. bright. In fact, this is the liquid that they use for stamps. Oh, I see. You know, haven't you done that when you go to a... An a amusement park? Amusement park, yeah. Yeah, I've had that done. And, it and look at my fingers where I put the makeup on you. Oh, wow. Okay, then, this is the soap. Oh, I see. It, it really gets bright. Haven't you heard, read on the side of the package where they have brighteners in it? Oh, I see. Yeah. So well, it makes it, your clothes brighter. Well, it sort of makes them look brighter. Actually, what happens is it converts some of the ultraviolet that you can see into uh, a light that you can see, so it makes it look brighter. I see. Now, there are the two files. Oh, well, one of them's glowing and the other isn't. Yeah. Well, sometimes when people make things, they, they use materials that glow, and, even, and it's not imp particularly important, the glowing feature, oh. but they glow anyway. They didn't do that on purpose. Though. Well, they made, this, they made this file handle and in, incidentally, some of the materials in it glowed. Oh, okay. How about these? Oh, they're all glowing. The stamps are sort of greenish. Yes. And uh, these they are nice and bright. Yeah, they do these so that they can be read with optical readers. Oh, I see. Look at the candy dish. Oh, that's really Really glowing, glowing isn't it? Now, this is because of some of the, ma the uh, materials that they use when they made the glass that makes okay. it fluoresce, this is called, by the way. 
change from sure. ultraviolet to a, a visible light. All right. Here's the wrapping and paper. The wrapping paper, that gets bright as well. Real bright, yes. And see the liquid? Uh-huh. Well, this is a special liquid that scientists use. They can put traces of this in, in liquids, and then they can see, they can follow it under ultraviolet light to trace paths and things like that. Oh, I see. Now, you remember that drawing that you were mm -hmm. saying looked like uh, just nothing? Yeah. Well, it's actually a piece oh. of modern art done by one of the kids in the neighborhood. Is that like nice? That? Isn't that nice? It's pretty. You can see that. It's nicer the, than it looked before. Yeah, and they can make uh, fluorescent paints. Yeah. Put the material in the paint, and when you put it in, You've probably seen uh, shows in theaters, haven't you, in which they use this fluorescent? Yeah, light? I have. Yes. Okay, now let's, now let's get a little more serious, because here's how scientists use it. Here's the rock. Mm -hmm. Remember, it sort of looks like a piece of cheese? Yeah. And now look at it. Oh, that's nice as this well. This is because there are natural materials that change that ultraviolet to a light that you can see, and scientists use it to identify the rocks. See what it says underneath there? It's semi-opal. Yes. So that's sort of a natural fluorescent? So natural fluorescent material. How about this one over here? Here's this. Here's that one. Oh, willemite and calcite. Yes. So, Darren, that's probably the first time you've had fun with and learned about some of the scientific uses of ultraviolet light. <laughs>